Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome back to this edition of the Anchor News. For this week of January 16th, I'm your anchorman, Teddy Andrews. As you can see, we've revamped our setup. I hope you like it. Now we're going to start tonight with the school news from around the district. Last week in the Scholastic Bowl, team of Aiden Peters McGregor, Brooke John Pierre, and Eli Raylick won its match against Lockport and North Tonawanda by a score of 170 to 60 to 30. Matches are aired live on WLVL at 5 p.m. So if you're a fan of trivia, you may want to listen in. Seventh and eighth grade art students are getting ready for a really cool event at the end of the month. They've worked in groups for several weeks to create 40 one-of-a-kind painted chairs that will be auctioned off January 31st. I'll have the link, more information next week's show, but in the meantime, you can look for the charity link on the middle school homepage on the district's website for a preview for all the chairs. The senior class is holding a fundraiser with some great prizes. First prize is a Yeti cooler and a $100 Wegmans gift card. Second prize is a Yeti tumbler and a $50 Tim Hortons gift card. And third place prize is two Yeti low ball mugs and a $25 Tim Hortons gift card. Tickets are $5 each and available from seniors or senior class advisor, Miss Decker or Mr. Trivi. Weather's looking pretty stable this week with temperatures in mid to high 30s with some rain. This week's snow day meter unfortunately reads zero. And now kicking off our sporting news, I'd like to welcome wrestlers Hamza Marik and Ben Warcatter. First of all, Hamza, congratulations on being Athlete of the Week. Thank you, Teddy. And now, how's the season been going so far for y'all, you guys? Pretty good, Teddy. I would say very good, actually. We're 17 and 8 with our win over Akron Saturday. And this season's been full of ups and downs. A lot more ups and downs. I would like to say that a few key guys that really have sprung out and are new this year would be like Jack Ingerson. Shout out to him for Friday's duel because I would say without him just losing, not getting pinned, I this is a lot of there's a lot of extra things to know with wrestling so by just saying losing and pinning whatever by him not getting pinned that kind of allowed me to win the duel at the end of the duel because that kept it close and within winnable range Hamza here well he's been around but I would say he's got a good shot at states this year you want to elaborate on that? Um, thanks, Brett. Um, I really think our team's going to be doing great for the next couple of years because we've got a really young team. And I feel like over the years, by, by the time I'm a senior, our team may be undefeated for the league. And some very helpful people on our team are Victor, Ben, myself, Jacob Stevenson, Breck and Schultz. Uh, these guys have We've all pitched in to help grow our team and bond together to create a winning team. And that brings me to a point. Wrestling is a sport like no other. It takes grit, persistence, toughness. If you want to be successful at wrestling, it has to be wrestling or nothing. You can't go halfway at it. You can't fake it. You can't put the blame on other guys in the practice room. It's down to you versus him. And I feel like as of late, we've been getting more to that point. Early in the season, we could kind of rely upon the guys who knew what they were doing to win and carry us home. But with some of those key guys getting hurt, me being out this a couple weeks ago, they came down to the new guys. They had to find that drive within them to want to win. And like I said, that comes to the practice room. You've got to push yourself 
to the limit and more if you want to win. To make that life easier, it helps with a youth program, which Mr. Hart has just started up again. And there's a lot of participation there, like 20, 25 kids. I really think that if we keep that going strong and if this gets out to enough families that the, our wrestling program can get really good. Like if you look at a lot of the good wrestling programs, good youth programs. We haven't had a youth program in years. So with a youth program going on, I say the sky's the limit. Heading into the All League tournament this weekend at Albion, I would say that most of us have a pretty good shot. The team in general has a pretty good shot. We haven't had a whole lot of individual tournaments, but we've had a lot of wrestling experience because of all these duels that we've had. I believe that myself, Hamza, Jacob, Victor, those four, I believe, should have a pretty good shot at taking first. And then countless others have chances at placing. Max Pitlick, Jacob Sweeney, Tyler Dewar, Dom Lopez, David Gursky, Henry, my brother, Willie, my other brother, <laughs> Jack Ingerson, Tommy Mahalan. They've all kind of stepped up this year. And a fine point, Henry is a seventh grader. I never would have expected him to be on the varsity team, let alone having wins this season. So that's a nice point. And then the JV team has been doing great too. We've, we've pulled up a couple of kids for a couple of duels that we had. And I really believe that we are on the up and up this year. And I think Hamza would say the same thing. So I would say if you know any little siblings or anybody who hasn't even known about wrestling or seventh graders, talk to them about wrestling, try and get into it because if you want to find something that means more, wrestling's for you. And if you were like me, where I just wasn't that good at basketball, I did modified basketball and wrestling. I did basketball, didn't do very good. I did wrestling, I was okay. I was like, well, I must stick with wrestling. So if you're like that, come with wrestling. You never know if you're going to be good until you try it. And now here's a quick recap of last week's sporting highlights. As Ben and Hamza just said, wrestling has had a great week with wins over Williamsville South and Barker and Roy Hart. Seniors Ben Warketter and Brecken Schultz were recognized and the team also collected canned food donations. The varsity boys basketball team secured the thrilling overtime win over Albion last Friday, 58 to 53. The JV boys also defeated Albion 54 to 41. The girls' varsity basketball team defeated Newfane and Albion, and Peyton McLennis received the character award after the Albion game. JV girls beat Albion as well. A special congratulations to Coach Baker, who earned his 250th career victory with the over Newfane. This week's sporting schedule includes boys' JV and varsity basketball at Medina this Thursday, JV and varsity basketball at home, which is the girls, wrestling in Albion on Thursday and Saturday for all league tournament. The modified basketball team plays this Saturday in Akron. I wanna give a shout out to my fifth and sixth grade basketball team. I hope we have a great game this week at home. Before wrapping up today, I want to thank Thomas Baya for coming down during his winter break and giving me some pointers on interviewing. Thomas is currently studying communications at St. Bonaventure's University and has, had, has his own radio show on the college's radio station, WSBU The Buzz. The Bills barely squeaked by the Miami Dolphins with a score of 34-31. to 31. Go Bills! That will conclude this edition of the Anchor News. This is your anchorman, Teddy Andrews.